You see this the Minecraft video about Mushoku Tensei Minecraft mod. That is the Mushoku Tensei Minecraft mod for 1.20.1 in this case. And genuinely from the last time I did a video on this, it has been changed quite a bit. So we do have a couple of mobs that I might as well show them because this is gonna take literal seconds just to show them. We have a mage and a sword sword bandit, sure. Okay, he has water bow and the sword bandit is destroyed, maybe? I don't... Oh, there we go. Magic against sword god, okay, yeah. In close combat, I guess sword god wins. North god against sword? Sure, seems like they do the exact same amount of damage. Although they do have different fighting styles. Water god, okay. Hmm, I'll be fair. These are the mobs, they're not anything remarkable. But, but, even though they're not anything astounding, there is actually many cool aspects. Like the different fighting styles of the Water God, Sword God, and the last one which I already forgot the name of, but that's besides the point. I'm also punching for incredible damage. Because a leveling up system has been added, you get skill points, you can get different skills, magic, or sword combat. And actually there is also a combination of the two, technically. But but I will not get into detail because the mod has expanded quite a lot. Uh, let's just use the bandit to test out some of the many spells that are here. You do really, really, really need to look at the keybinds before doing this though. First we have the basic water bow. Uh, did I do it properly? I think I did. Now, right button. There we go, water bow. It did literally zero damage, but it's also one of the weakest spells. Oh, I did it again. Okay, there is a slight aspect of confusion when it comes to these spells. I genuinely don't know what I'm making the mistake. Like, there we go. Maybe it's a matter of speed. I should just be super quick with it. Is that the issue? A few minutes later. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking through it. And here's an unfortunate thing. I chose to be a swordsman. That is why I might be struggling with magic, even though I gave myself insane magical powers. I am technically using the Toki technique, which just boosts my own overall abilities like for example the fact that they have um, speed 3 and strength 4 that's probably from the Toki technique that's why I punch so hard even though I've not done anything whatsoever. Okay so I think I'm realizing an issue. I think I might have permanently walked myself out of spells. Now they have the skills there. There we go. I used the long sword of silence or the arm chop. Yeah. I, I wonder how much Toki technique I can actually level up. Basically, it covers me with, ma with mana and makes me super strong. Saint level, long sort of light. Sure. Sure, let's see it. I don't know what light technique I'm doing. It's like I'm filling the whole world with particles and I'm jumping whenever I'm swashing. I mean, honestly, a fight with actual players would look pretty awesome in my opinion. Here's a good question though. Arm chop. Does that actually chop the arm? Now it just does a little bit of damage. Fair enough. 20 minutes later. And there is some other magical stuff that I might as well show. Like the fact that there's many different magical eyes right now. I can have two magic eyes, that's actually kind of broken. Okay, the clairvoyance one. What does it do? Oh, it basically gives me interesting. So the clairvoyance one basically allows me to just go into spectator mode freely. Okay, so that's what magic eye number one does. Let's see what eye number two absorption actually does. Probably absorbs damage to be perfect. Bear with you. That's what I would presume. Maybe if I absorb the mana of a mage? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, another magic eye. Identification. This one should be straightforward. Ah, I see. Identification literally is as it says. It gives me the name of everything I see. That's a very cool ability for an actual, obviously, enough show, so on and so forth. In Minecraft, it's not particularly useful. But hey, it's a cool idea. I understand why it's something in the actual world of Mushoku Tensei. And let's just get more magic guys. Because I can't show the spells for whatever reason. Absolute Void sounds impressive. Oh. Oh. Crash. 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 Did not crash. Um. What did I do though? Oh! A magic eye that just creates a giant dome? Darkness. Okay, that's gonna be hype to actually see in the show. In what sort of circumstance is that going to be shown though? That is peculiar. Can I just undo it? Yeah. Oh, mobs were spawning in as well, I guess. And magical power? Oh, that's neat. So it just shows me... Yeah, it shows me the creatures glowing around me. I Maybe if there was a player, I would see how much they have as well. Maybe. 
but yeah it just allows me to see just overall better so there is no eye of future scythe i believe the demon lord said that there was 13 magic eyes so maybe not all have been added yet i think it's pretty amazing yeah this one has genuinely have been updated a lot since the last time i played with it anyway though no. uh let's max out just my overall stats as a swordsman and see how powerful of a swordsman i can actually become so ability number one from the water god creates some water flow ready not sure what it does i should have probably read it block any and reflect the next attack you receive that's what flow does okay and from reading on the water god it's a defensive style so that's why there's deflect okay that is why there is deflect and defensive ability so it's actually not incredible for showing oh and i should do magic okay now i understand properly the north god style is a sword style focused on adaptability and using any means to win the north god do wielding sure let's toggle it but yeah i cannot use anything else what does do wielding mean though i mean i know what it means but the question is okay so it is what they thought it means you actually can use two swords properly if you have it enabled how much damage does the second one do okay it does actually the same amount of damage so you can probably create a pretty broken build now if i update my toki to an insane amount okay you can go above 100 but i don't think it's all my i don't think this is supposed to be this is what it will just a single move. I have speed and strength. It doesn't show how much because I'm probably literally god level. Warden, prove that I'm god level. Punch. <laughs> I took four. Okay, I did 310 damage. You know what? Sure. I have so much health. I am actually a sword god. Eventually. Okay, so water bow works. But for whatever reason. I just can't cast the others even though I literally did it before starting with the video. It is the issue. Because I've chosen a sword fighting style and not because... Got it. Because I've chosen the fighting style of actually being a sword fighter. By gaining only one of the fighting styles I get only up to intermediate levels. Still, let's go for trying every single one and whether I can even make a single one work. Oh, water cannon works! Wait, seriously, did it actually work? Was that seriously the issue that I can do only intermediate levels? Yep! Although this one looks exactly like the water ball, so let's give it a try to another one. Ice pillar, now this one's definitely different. Okay, I can make that one work. Do I need water to make it work? Ice clones? Okay, so that one did work. I definitely feel as if I'm missing something, but sure, I have the water element, can I do fire? That's not what I wanted to do, but irrelevant. You actually don't need the stuff in order to cast the spells, just supposedly it increases the power. Also, I guess might as well just summon a couple of these just to actually cast the spells onto entities, just to see their overall powers. Okay, flame slice worked. It didn't do much damage, but it did work. Once again, I should probably try the world with being a spellcaster. Okay. Huh, well that one worked as well and it burned everything. And the last spell I can use from the fire element is explosion. Oh, there was definitely an explosion sound, but nothing happened. And the book that I do have, the spell book, just gives me the actual spells and that's that. Healing, I will not bother looking to it. Magic circle as well. There's a water mod. An enormous amount. Oh, here's Rudy's favorite element, Earth. At the very least, it is the one he loves using most after water. So, Earth. Rock Bullet. Another, as I said, favorite spells. So, Rock Bullet is exactly what you thought. Earth Wall, is this gonna work? <laughs> well, this one works exactly as you would think. Final intermediate level stuff. I definitely should probably just do another video where I look at this. So sure, this video was just a quick little dip into the mod, even though it took an hour. But hey, one thing I'm definitely understanding about the mod though, it is most definitely, not only is it very important what you choose, whether you want to be a swordsman or a magician, because clear enough you have limited powers and twin pulls seems to just give me insane movement. Not that now that I'm a god it matters because I already have insane movement. But sure, that's what wind does. So Sonic Boom, if I were to use it just into the nothingness, nothing happens. And if I aim it at someone else, nothing happens. But if I'm close enough to a mob... Okay, it did work. Hmm. What I'm getting with everything is that I would like another menu that just explains to me how the spells work, if they have any special requirements. 
Now, once again, if you choose a mage, it's very possible that you might get that. Kill Force. Final spell I'll be able to use. Okay, I did something with the staff, right? Can't move it all. Okay, charges my sword in some way. That's why I did something weird with the staff. Okay, maybe not one spell because that one's kind of anticlimactic. Let's just try Winds Wise. This is as simple as it is gonna get. I will hope. Winds Wise, go. Okay. No world ending super powerful moves. I definitely can do a better job when it comes to showing this mod. But for now, I do hope you enjoyed the video. There is a video there, you can start the channel there. And hopefully enough next time I'll be able to show it properly. But for now, bye.